And what if you can still earn passive income every month? Like Oniok, 10,000 invested here would have paid for all these living expenses using only dividends. And what if I told you this is just the beginning? With the right strategies and enough time, you could pay for your electric, rent, or just maybe your daily Starbucks, all with passive income, no matter the market. We're talking about the big D here, dividends. And while this may not be the sexiest investment around, they won't let you down or cheat on you behind your back and use some kind of weird breakup story about how your long hair makes them break out in hives, but then you see them with their new boyfriend and he's got a ponytail down to his Levi's. Sorry. Dividend stocks. These are companies that you can invest in that takes a bit of the profits and pays you on a regular basis. This means not only the share price ideally will go up over time, but you'll also make money for just being an owner. The money a company pays out is a dividend yield. This figure allows you to compare the passive income of one company to another. Look at these three giants. The iPhone King recently paid 23 cents for their last dividend. Kinder Morgan, an energy company, paid out 28 cents last time around. The Chocolate Barons of Pennsylvania paid nine Cents. So based purely on dollar value, we might think that unwrapping some Hershey's stock is far more profitable than the others, but there's one crucial figure missing, the amount you pay for the stock. We need to divide the annual dividends per share by the price per share and then multiply that by 100 to get the dividend yield. Hershey's stock is sitting at about $218 per share. The annual dividends paid in the last year are $3.60. We do our quick calculation to find out a dividend yield of 1.65% for Hershey. So we can now use that as a baseline figure to compare to the other companies. Take Apple Next. Their stock is at around $150 and the total dividend in the last 12 months is 92 cents. So 0.61% is their dividend yield. That's why Apple isn't regarded as one of the top dividend companies. But what about Kinder Morgan? Their share price is just $18. So already that 28 cents quarterly dividend is looking juicier than the rest. In the last 12 months, they've paid out $1.11. A dividend yield of 6.1% is excellent above average and 10 times more than apples. A lot of people recommend Kinder Morgan based on rising demand for natural gas, and they've been working on new pipelines, so their plans likely mean the continued payment of high dividends in the future. But could you pay some bills with an investment in Kinder Morgan? Let's start with $1,200 to see what that gets us. It's not gonna pay to heat your house or pay for your fuel, but it will pay for a Hulu membership, and that's a real start on making money to deliver you more freedom and a better life. Plus, you'll have a couple bucks left over to, I don't know, fuel your Skittles addiction, at least until they're declared unfit for human consumption. But there you have it, passive income with stocks. Now, thankfully, buying your first stock doesn't have to be as terrifying as your first time doing other stuff, but you still need to find the perfect moment and choose the right partner. I also hear avoiding garlic can help. Weeble. They're the app I use to buy dividend stocks, but they do so much more. Let's say you wanted 50 Cosmos coins and 10,000 InCube chain and 25 shares of Outset Medical Incorporation, plus, you know, just 10 shares of Barnes Group. Well, for less than $1,000, you could have your very own atomic bomb. So that'll make you and these guys. Good job. Weeble. They're not a sponsor, but if you use the link below, you'll get up to 12 free stocks for joining and I'll get like 20 bucks. So do what you will with that information. Payout ratio. It isn't just something mobsters charge for protection. It's also the percentage of earnings a company gives to stockholders. So what's a good figure here? 100% would be nice, but things don't exactly work like that. Companies still need a safety net to make sure they don't go bust. A payout ratio of up to about 60% is fine, but anything higher should make you think twice. If a business is paying out all of their earnings, it typically means they don't know what to do with their money, and that's not great long term. They need to reinvest in grow for long-term growth. Of course, there are exceptions, but I'll save that for later in the video. Kinder Morgan has been exceptionally high for the last few years, but it's showing signs of dropping. Some analysts question whether it's actually sustainable or not, but others point out that market conditions are improving and they generate lots of stable profits. It's like any investment. There are opinions on both sides. If you want to get the very best returns, you just have to do more research and sometimes take calculated risks when they make sense. Hershey's payout ratio appears to be safer at under 50%. But the dividends aren't big enough to make you passive income rich. However, these are the dividend aristocrats. These 65 companies have not only consistently paid dividends for at least 25 years, but they've raised their payment every single year. Think about that. They've been paying dividends since Bill Clinton and Monica were hanging out in the Oval Office. The consistency of these stocks is amazing. So does that mean that we could just close our eyes and throw a dart at a board and choose one of these companies? Not necessarily. 
Yes, they're big and established, but the current list has some yields under 1%. So again, probably not passive income beasts unless you're totally flush with cash. Let's choose one aristocrat though, IBM. It currently has a dividend yield between 4.8 and 5.15%, depending on where you look. IBM has been working hard to build hybrid cloud architecture and it's paying off in a big way. Tech stocks have struggled lately, despite the very real threat of nerds and robots taking over the planet, but IBM has performed better than most. So what does $2,500 get you here? That's enough to pay for your cat food or a Costco membership or even a monthly trip. Now this wouldn't be a complete conversation without discussing the cons of dividend stocks as well. The main disadvantage is that dividend stocks are less likely to appreciate in value because profits are being sent to shareholders as opposed to reinvesting everything back into the company. So there's a bit of trade-off in order to get money now as opposed to later. However, dividend stocks are ideal when inflation is rampant and everything else else is the opposite of whatever rampant is. The reason being is the companies we're looking at are all solid, long-standing businesses, ones that have shown they can turn a profit, even in bad times. The price of chocolate, computing products, and iPhones will probably rise, and that's not good for your wallet, but it is good for your dividends. It's more important than ever to own stock in great companies, ones that can raise prices whenever they need to. However, we can't forget about taxes. When you receive a dividend, you have to pay tax on those earnings. Where on the flip side, if you own a stock that just reinvests everything back into the company, making the share price go up, you never pay tax on your gains unless you sell. So there's a lot to consider here, but the bottom line is great companies make great investments. And now that you're feeling comfortable, we need to ramp things up. We need to get really serious. Those bills are not going to pay themselves. Next company, Invesco. It has paid out 75 cents per share in the last year. So the yield is about 4.6%. Earnings and dividends have dropped lately, but forecasts are generally positive. The company is happy with its approach to diversification, and some analysts think it's actually undervalued, but their expansion into China could bring some fresh risks as well as some possible benefits. We're gonna crank up the investment here to $5,000. With this, you could afford two pounds of chicken every week, getting you jacked, or you could buy a grill to cook the meat, or even a Planet Fitness membership. However, you'll probably set off the lung alarm after all that protein. Now, real quick, if you're looking to support the channel, check out my membership site, Nova, link down below. It's like only fans, but instead of getting hard, you get rich. But if you do get hard, no judgment. Making money can be exciting. There we have buy alerts like this, live coaching calls daily, private content, and a massive group of investors making money and trying to find girlfriends. All right, by now, we've got a diversified basket of stocks from different industries. And that's important because it keeps risks very under control. We don't want to get wiped out by a crisis in the financial market, an energy collapse, or the chocolate industry imploding thanks to zero safety precautions. So could you genuinely retire on dividend stocks? The short answer is yes. There's entire communities online, like Fatfire on Reddit, where people tell their stories of saving, investing, and retiring early on exactly this kind of stuff. With enough time and discipline, it is very, very possible. Now, of course, you need to choose your stocks wisely. And with this in mind, it's time for our fourth dividend stock. A lot of people recommend JP Morgan Chase. At a 3.49% dividend yield, it's not quite as high as some of the others, but that's okay for the sake of diversity and safety. Let's invest 10 thousand dollars and see what we can afford. We could get some dental insurance or about six months worth of your internet bill or even more practical you could go watch Minions Rise of Gru 37 times. Now here's a neat trick. Dividends are paid out like clockwork by the big companies. They drop into your account right on time every single time but they don't all pay in the same months. We already have a pretty decent spread that's going to keep money trickling into our account most of the year but if you want you can fill the gaps. I decided to use Enbridge which has a tasty 6% dividend. Current forecasts vary here, but their recent earnings brought some good news. The payout ratio of over 116% is on the high side. Same with their debt to equity of 118%, but profits are good and their cash flow appears to be stable. This doesn't look like a company overstretching to pay outsized dividends. They actually use this big payout to attract stockholders. Let's say you pump $20,000 into this. At this point, you can genuinely pay one or two significant bills every single month month. Or maybe it pays an entire month's rent. If you really wanted to ramp this up, you could cover the full year's rent with an investment of $240,000. Imagine forgetting about paying for rent forever. And I know, 240 k seems impossible, but that's not today's goal. That's, that's the finish line. 
Today's goal is to invest just a little bit, whatever you can, slowly building your stack up and eventually over time, you will be able to pay for your lifestyle with passive income. And hey, maybe you'll even look back at this moment with millions in your account laughing about how you used to think 240K was impossible. <laughs>